You know, uh, the, the IP space, the SOC, the chip space for IoT is, um, is shaping up to be somewhat different than a traditional um, you know, environment we, we grew up in. I, I, and, and of course your strong suit is, is the IP and, and all associated with that. So do you, is there a difference now with the, the newer generation of engineers, let's say, or the or folks that are coming and say, uh, talking about the, the SOC itself? Is there a different perspective? So in our days it was more about efficient hardware structures and the real like value was there or the concentration was there. Nowadays, this is moving towards software uh, to a great degree. Um, this is not necessarily the case in all designs, but uh, and it is a bit different in IoT. Um, and when I'm talking about IoT, I'm talking about the IoT nodes, which are in general they are not complex SOCs, right? In most cases, so the the IoT nodes design is like like a deja vu in a way. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> so people are back. I want to. I don't want to say back to the basics, but I mean, it, it, it's the. It's still. I mean, we we came to a point with like technology shrinking and all that. Gates did not count that much. Well, what's right. the difference if I get a hundred thousand more gates? Right. It doesn't matter uh, when I'm designing smaller. something like on eighteen nanometers, right? Um, now you get back to where people care about you know mm. gates. They care about power. And what is um, uh, what is important is that most of those IoT nodes are meant to be um, uh, cheap, okay? Right. Low cost, high volume, simple things. And the way that is reflected to what we do is a licensing that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Royalty models do not work anymore. Right. Uh, but then it is also uh, back to more efficient, let's say, hardware structures, hmm. right? So, um, and, and because the, 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 the attitude, let's say, the, the design approach is more, how do I differentiate my, my, my product using software, mostly? Uh. Software is the, the differentiator. Right. Um, it is on IP vendors to provide, let's say, the, the foundation that would provide the right hardware features like you know, low power, small size, and all that, for them to go off and on top and build, you know, their software for their <laughs> target applications. So this is not about, no longer about application processors, multi-core, yeah. you know, network and chip things. In most of the cases, we're talking about deeply embedded processors, even 8-bit processors, right. 8051s, right. or you know, 32-bit deeply embedded processors, uh, with some you know, maybe wireless interface in some cases, which could or could not be within the same chip. Yeah. Uh, few peripherals in most cases sent to interface sensors and chats. And, you know, the, this is a design. This is not huh. an SOC, by the way. I mean, this <laughs> yes. is... No. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe uh, you know, back to, as you said, kind of back to the to the board level, really. Right. I yeah. mean... And then you, and, and, and the guys, dif yeah, differentiation comes from, you know, the, hmm. the software, how they integrate with the cloud and the services they provide around that, but uh, a big part for them to differentiate on their product is cost, right? Because you had, I mean, if you even look yeah. at the simpler case of you know the LED lighting, the, which one? Oh, the, the light. The LED lighting that LED, you, can, yes, yeah, right? you can control with, you know over the <laughs> right. internet and all that. First of you know, first round of those costed like substantial amounts of money. They were. We've got a guy in there that produces them and sells them for I don't know uh, five bucks, yeah. two bucks, yeah. you know, a, a bulb which you know you can control from anywhere. It right. would go down. So in order to get the cost down, you know, the silicon ha the silicon cost has to go down, and right. royalties have to get out of the way. <laughs> right? You know, as you said, it's uh, you know you're going to have to. There'll be a lot of it's kind of been commoditized, and yet there'll be those special cases where I don't know some unique power and some unique. You know, interface to a unique wireless. I yeah. mean, so it's more of an interface issue as well, right? It's an interface issue, but you know, commoditized. Um, Not a good word. Well, it's <coughs> yes and no. I mean, a 32, a deeply embedded 32-bit processor cannot do magic. It's a 32-bit embedded processor, right? Okay. That, that can execute instructions and and all the but but 
At the same time, we we'll just talk about GM security. So, again, there's got to be other. The, the, there are always things that some designers can do better than others. Hmm. Even those simple commoditized things, they need to, in, a, in, in an extent, be reinvented to support hmm. those new requirements. Well, low power has been there forever, but now you have yeah. the aspect of security, yeah. which is big. <clears throat> and then you also have the aspect of the wireless connectivity, and that, in many cases, has some reflections even on the digital part of the design and what the process should be able to support and so on. Or go to sleep or wake up. And well, I mean, all those things. And then, you know, there are, it's, you know, special instructions or extensions oh. of the instruction set to better serve those wireless oh, protocols. The Mac layer, the, yeah. even physical perhaps. Right. So. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, the, this is the same old technology, but in some, you know, to some extent has to be reinvented or optimized for those new requirements.